Thank you to Zyro for sponsoring this video. In today's part two of three video series about how to create your own author website, I'm gonna be walking you through how to create the freebie offer page and the about us page for your self-published books. What is going on guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dane and on this channel I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. In today's video, it is part two of three of my how to create your own author website for your self-published books video series. And if you remember in part one, or if you haven't watched part one, make sure you click somewhere on the screen or the link will be down below to the part one of this video series so you know exactly where we are right now. But if you're following along, you remember in part one, we created our homepage and our footer and our library or featured books page on our website. So in part two of this video series, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own author bio or just brand bio or about us page and a freebie offer page for your website. Okay, and I'll show you what that is if you're confused about what a freebie offer is. Anyways, before I get into this though, let's jump on my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can follow along with this tutorial. So as you can see on screen here, I'm gonna be creating this website using a tool called Zyro. And Zyro is something that's very easy to use if you're a beginner to creating websites. This is the perfect option. Or if you're advanced, Zyro has tons and tons of features that can suit your needs. So looking at this, why use Zyro? You get a free domain for the first year that you sign up, okay? 100% free and this saves you quite a bit of money. They also have 24 seven support, which is very helpful. You can always click a button on their site. So I think it's bottom right on the site when you're editing it and it's right there, 24 seven support. And of course, if you're not happy with your purchase or anything like that, they do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you're covered in that way. And looking at their pricing it is extremely affordable, okay? And when you click the link in the description down below, You'll be able to, it'll automatically apply my code Dane, which is gonna allow you to get 71% off of their, of their first plan there. You can see 58% off, 46%. So it's a very big chunk off when you sign up with Zyro using the link down below. And this is a limited time offer, so make sure you're aware of that. You can see the different options. So whatever suits you, make sure you choose the plan that suits you. And again, make sure you use the code Dane to sign up and take advantage of that offer because it is available only for a limited time. Let's jump into this tutorial. So today, part two of three of this video series, me creating your author bio slash publishing brand about us page. Let's have a quick look at what we need to include on this page. Key sections are gonna be a header, an author headshot or brand logo, whatever you wanna do, bios or just a bio for the author or the brand, Amazon author page links. So if you don't have an Amazon author page set up, Put that into the YouTube search bar after this video and search up what an Amazon author page is. I'm not going to detail how to do that today. And then finally at the bottom, we'll talk about adding a subscribe uh, form. So last time we finished off on the library page here, which is where we feature all of our books. You can see I'm in the Zyro editor right now. Let's go over to the about us page. Okay. And again, if you want to add a page, all you have to do is click up top here, click edit nav navigation, and you'll see there's a bunch of pages and I can go add page. So I've added in an about us page. All right, so at the top is a header, okay? And again, with my template here, if you're watched video number one from this series, I'm just using the Marcia template. I'm pretty sure it's called. Let's just double check. I'm not saying the wrong template. Yeah, it's called Marcia Coco, okay? So let's go back to editing. It's just a, it's a free template that Zyro offers and it's, it's actually very helpful. So if you wanna follow along and copy my website, go right ahead. Every single time you make a new page, it adds in, um, this header here and not by adding in a page, I should tell you right now, all you have to do, if you want the header to be on every single page, you can go like this, click the cog and click duplicate and then it'll add that page after it. So we have the exact same sections on the next page. You can edit from there. So with the about us page, we have a header up top here. And again, for the background, I just went on Zyro's free um, images. You can replace images and I went free and I searched up some plants for the about us page of this brand that we're using is called household creative so looking at this one i do have a um my my brand image up top here with a brand bio right and all i did was household creative you can see this section that i'm using here is called about it's in the about section here and then you just click on this one here and you can see it adds it in for you very nicely and seamlessly i'm going to delete that though and all i did was put in my um brand logo and then put a short bio about us okay that's the first section that I like to have on the about us or just author bio page, whatever you want to call it. And then below that I have our authors because in my book brand here, for example, I have three different authors, three different pen names that focus on three different niches. So you can see Louise Golden, she focuses on gardening. Larry Smart focuses on home and special, he's a home improvement specialist. And Linda Stone is crafting specialist. And I got these photos from the AI generator. So these aren't actual people. These are just AI generated images of people. So don't write in steal people's Facebook photos for these. And all I did to add this section in this entire section here, I started out with a, let's, I'll show you what it looks like. 
So I have three authors, so I chose three pictures. So I went to the add section here. I went to images and I just chose this uh, block right here, added that one in, added in my authors. And then once those were added in, there was no text on it yet. So how you would go about doing that is by clicking up top here, clicking add element, text, and then you can drag this text around. You can see how Zyro just has these little blocks. You can literally drag this text anywhere within those blocks. It's very easy to use. All right, and then I put, put the text here, Larry Smart, Louise Golden, okay, whatever pen names you have. You have one pen name, add one photo. And what you could do if you had one pen name is literally just use this section here, put the pen name or the um, headshot of the, of the writer right here, and then put their name here, and then put the bio right here. It's super simple, it's all you really gotta do. And I just think it's important to have this on your author website or your brand, publishing branded website so people can put a face to a name when they're reading one of your books. And then below that I have a hyperlinked text, okay? And the author page, so for example, I'm just using this book for example, this isn't my book, but I'll click Tyler Barris, and this is gonna take me to his Amazon author page. This is what it looks like. So if you have one of these created, it's good to link that on your About Us page on, on your Zyro site. So what I'm gonna do is take this link, and for example, if that was uh, Louise Golden, I would go to this text here and I'd go edit text and just highlight it like that. And then I'll click this link thing. I'll go paste the link and then click save. Okay, and that's gonna hyperlink people to your author page. So if I click save up top here and I go preview, and I showed you this in the first video, but I'll show you it again. This should take me directly to the Amazon page and it does. So I suggest doing that when you add in your authors, just add in their author page if you have it on Amazon and just again, puts further verification of face to a name and you, they can read in look, and look at all your other books that you might be selling. Because you can see, for example, Tyler has a few different books on top of just that hydroponic gardening book. Let's go back to the editor here. And then below that, you can see I have this contact form, which is just a part of the Marcia theme. You don't need this in here, it's kind of optional. But if you wanted to add in a contact form, it's again, one of these elements up top. And literally all you gotta do is click on the contact form. It'll add it in. You can see I don't need it though, I already have it. So I'll delete that. And you can edit the uh, different fields and whatever you want them to add in. So you can see name. And I'll show you guys quickly where to find those, the, the submissions when someone submits a question or something like that in just a second here. And then finally below that in our footer, if you were following me in uh, part one of this video series, you already should have this. But if you don't have it, it's again, just an element you gotta add from the left up top here. Um, you can click in on subscribe. It'll add in the form. You can see when I add it in, it's just this single form or field, I should call it. Um, if you wanna add in additional fields, all you gotta do is go up here and you can add in the name field and you can see I click add new field. And I just did short answer and I did name. And then I added in this text up here, subscribe for a free book, which will go over what a freebie page and what that free book is in the next uh, page that I go over in a second. But I wanna show you guys where these submissions go if you weren't watching part one of this series. So when someone submits something, you can go to website here and you can go general settings. And you can see on the left here, it says form submissions. And you can see there is a contact area for the submissions and a subscribe area for the submissions. That's where they're gonna go if you wanna view them, reply to them, add them to your, maybe your autoresponder, add them into MailChimp, whatever it may be, that's where their emails will go. So now that we have the About Us page completed, very simple, very straightforward. Let me show you what this free offer or freebie offer page looks like and what it should have. So again, a header, just put the picture at the top. I already have that, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, freebie offer images, subscribe form, where do the emails go? I've kind of just showed you that now so you know where they're gonna go. But I'll show you these two things, cause or this thing right here, because it's probably what you're wondering. So basically, with my books that I self-published in the first or second or third, like just before the table of contents of those books, I have a page that tells people to sign up for my email list and in return, we'll get a free book sent to them. So that's part of my books. So if we wanna capitalize on that and get as many emails as possible, I think it's a great idea to add that to your website as well. So if someone lands on your website and they see this free offer, everyone loves free things. So if you have a couple of free books, you can see I have this, these free books that are related to my theme. Um, and I say, hey, get these two books free by signing up below. Okay, and then I just have a, a submission form right here, put their email address in, you get their email, and you can add that to your list because that's emails are very important in self-publishing. If you want to promote your books, whatever it may be, get reviews, stuff like that. Um, it's important to have these things. So in return, you'll get these people into your submission list, which will be right here. I'll show you again. Form submissions, subscribe form. So when people subscribe, they'll see this list of emails right here. And you just send them the free book. And in exchange, you have their email. So when you promote maybe a new book in the future, you can promote it to them and they're probably interested in your style of books if they landed on your website in the first place. So they'll probably get your book, buy it leave a review, stuff like that. So that's kind of why I, I like having this on my site. And you can see, again, I just have a simple header up here. And for this section, again, it was just the About Us section here. Click that, and I just added in an image of my free books. And then once that was on there, I added in some text, and then I went up to Element here, and I clicked on Subscribe. Very simple, straightforward, 
easy to do. And that's all it is, okay? And then my contact form and subscribe form are down below. So that is the About Us page and the free offer page. If you guys have any additional questions about anything to do with these pages or with your author website, please leave them in the comment section down below. That is pretty much it for this video. Again, guys, if you wanna follow along with these tutorials, there is a Zyro link first thing down below. Use the code DANE in all caps. You can see right here, Dane, the Texas Dane, and it is a limited time offer. So make sure you capitalize on that as soon as possible. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Try to post new videos every single week about self-publishing, online entrepreneurship, and just lifestyle in general. So if that interests you, again, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next part of this series, which will come out next week. And in that video, we're gonna be talking about how to create the blog page and the review page, as you can see up top right here. So those are two very important pages, two very key pages. So part three is definitely one you don't wanna miss. So make sure you subscribe so you can see those next week. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. And I'll see you in part three of the video series next week. Peace.